Hello to YouTube and welcome back to Fallout 4 Wicked Storm Gaming. We're about to go turn in this quest. But I found out, I figured out why the fuck Starlight Drive-In didn't need help. They fucking defended off the attack on their own. Which is quite nice, actually. I wish they'd do that more fucking often. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't what fully did she do exactly? Liberty Prime. And I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable... System stable what? Hello? Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28... Oh, you fucking kidding check. me. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain... Oh, well, you fuck well, off, all of you. Uh -huh. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep the system stable are gonna hold. I walk over to see what the hell you're talking about, and didn't she fucking stop trying to? He's sticky. Are you sure this is safe? Of course. No. I've checked every connection, every circuit myself. Prime will hold together. Proctor, will he go nuts and kill us all? Green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help. We'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Did you retrieve something from that robot? What robot? But what? What? Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No. What? But my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robo Brain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. I am extremely confused. Where is this coming from? All right, well, he had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Eh? Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Okay. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Okay. Why? It's crazy. Bit. Okay, I'm gonna do the switch that I've been trying to fucking do for a while. Do the switch. He really seems short. Back, Back online. All right, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Wait, voice activated? That's kind of cool. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice right. module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. He got some pointy ass fingers, doesn't he? Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark two. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. That's a long walk from here. Primary you. targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Again, it's gonna be hard to do. Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime yeah, seriously. Top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. 
Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Sweet. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power arm. I guess I've never used T60, but yeah, I'll thank you, yeah. This wasn't necessary, Ingram. Oh, come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail yeah, it up to the Pridwin. Elder Max he can't even walk right now. speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Okay, okay. Alrighty, the camera, we go up to the Pridwin. We might as well use the damn fucking helicopter we're right here. Hello, Prime. I'm gonna have to go back to Fallout 3. What, what do you mean it's depleted? Look at all them bombs in your backpack. It ain't depleted at all. But he seems smaller. I mean, he's pretty big. He's pretty big. I mean, I look pretty small next to him. Treat your power but armor well. He's like, what? Two? Maybe three stories tall? He looks like he's about two stories tall. Maybe three stories tall. Near. Maybe it's just that the one in Fallout 3 was in a much more confined area, so he looked bigger. I'm honestly going to have to go check. And if I do go check, I'm going to record it so I can see, show you guys that there is a difference in all. I fell! Bitch, you've jumped from higher places. Now, there it is. Two the helicopters! Two the helicopters! Elder, what's your dick? I forget your name. Uh, did you think? Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Uh, you're a bitch. Oh wait, you're Am accusing me. Of something that remains to be seen. Oh, Dr. you're a Quinlan bitch. completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. He escaped? You do That's it. impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included You're a record here. of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a scent they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone able, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> he never did. Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. Um. I won't do it. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, Ooh. I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Hmm. Speak to Proctor Quidley Billy. Alright. Attention. Tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. This seems like a bad time to be postponing tactical briefings, doesn't it? You Quinley? Yeah, you're Quinlan. Quinlan? Oh. Quinlan. Right. I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. 
As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. Okay, this is going to take forever. Comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? That's a weird view. I outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Herbert Pew. Hmm. How'd you hear? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxim's uh, made a yeah, right. to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Bullshit. Orders are orders. Orders, orders are orders. orders. Yep. That's all you have to say. I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you. The fuck did he do for me? Turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake. Name three things he did Get for me. Bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or oh, so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Show sure help me. Unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well. The then. fuck am I looking Would at? You care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Also, your eyes look if super you weird. To the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertebrate gunship's computer. Okay. I'll take anything that gets me closer to. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Did yeah, follow her? Oh, you were in the damn way. Of course, it was you. Okay, follow you to do, 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 do. follow you to the flight deck. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright. Hurry, flight deck, that is not the flight deck. Oh, great, you fall in a hole. Congratulations. Oh, you got out. Okay. okay, this is not the flight deck. You're probably kidding me. I gotta warn you, I'm pretty good with this bat. Mm, she's leading me off to be killed, I know it. Quick auto shave here. Hey, Rich, what do you want? This is not the flight deck. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? Absolutely. No. I haven't decided yet. Well, yes, I have. I ain't doing I shit. Do. I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. The question really is about that is when they replaced him. That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you. Not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all. Uh, good point. Uh, Ada. Sure, I uh, go get dance. This was the thing I was looking for, by the way. Yes. Ada, I'm gonna have to go around you here. There we go. Uh, to help defend what? Now, at least it's just one of them. And that's still pretty close. We'll go there. 
Right, right, the slug. They're being attacked, apparently, so. You guys ain't being attacked at all. You fucking lied to me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You guys were supposed to be being attacked right now. I don't see nothing. Not a damn thing. I could kill you. Through the glass. No, not the missile turret. No. I don't see anything. Said you guys was under attack, man. I believed it. I did. I truly did. And you guys were right next to the thing, so that was, you know, maybe you got to drop off. Yeah. Hello, Doogie. Hello, Kitty. Yeah. It said the slog was being attacked, and the slog is pretty close, so I came here, figured out, oh, we'll defend this place, and we'll head on off to talk to dance. But apparently... I've been fucking lied to. Let's see, help defend the slog. Right there, I'm at the slog. Why is there a light in that trailer? There's a lantern there. Can I get to that trailer? That makes me want to go to that trailer. I don't think I can get to that trailer. But I bet there's something cool in it. What the hell was that? That thing was moving f super fast. D ghouls. A ghoul. Okay. Don't worry about that. I think this is what we're supposed to be defending against. Yeah, come on over. Come in. Come in. You crazy little bastard. Oh, he's legendary too. Okay, come on. Keep coming. Keep coming, you little bastard. Shut you in your stupid head. Oh shit, there's another one here. Oh, they're here. It started. It started. I was just. Where'd the legendary go? He's over there. Okay, keep your eye on him. Okay, it's just ghouls being attacked. Or attacking the ghouls. Why are the ghouls attacking the ghouls now that I think about it? Poisoner sledgehammer. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. That being said, I probably actually shouldn't use this. I'll actually like, kill one of these guys again. That is not working. Ow, you little bastard. <laughs> rockets! Scary rockets! No! No! Leg, rockets, explosions, death. Is it done? Is it over? Do 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 do. I see you over there. The last one, probably. Oh, he's coming in quick. Ow, that looked painful. Wait, what? Derry died. Who the fuck was Derry? Oh, jeez, this is the one I gave him hey. a, a fucking minigun to. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hey. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what... Anyway. Yeah, uh, about that. Terry died. Oh, it was the one with the nice hair. Damn it. I even gave her armor and shit. Well, we gotta give her armor and stuff to somebody else now. But who gets it? You! You look like a per- Wait, what do you do, actually, before we give you shit? You're assigned to that. Who, who, what was Derry assigned to? Hmm? Wait, repair. We broke- You can break the store- I didn't know about this. Okay, I'm gonna fix this place up, and next episode, we're gonna come back. And we'll be doing this shit. That was really strange. Okay, yeah. See you guys next time. Have fun.